On a hot summer's day, the part of an automobile that is left standing in the shade will be much cooler than the part in the sunlight, which is hot. Both of these cars are metal, but one is light colored and the other dark colored, and both have been standing in the sunlight. The dark colored one feels hot because dark colors hold heat. Do you know why you should wear light colored clothes on warm summer days? On a hot summer's day, the sidewalks in the city are too hot for bare feet. It's cooler to stand on earth or grass. At the beach, we can go barefoot, because even though the sand gets hot, we can run into the water to cool off our feet. This is boiling metal in a steel mill. You can feel its heat on your cheeks. This is our sun. You can feel its heat at a swimming pool. Why would you make sure your skin is protected if you wanted to stay out in the summer sun? The weatherman on TV tells us about the weather and what the temperature has been. Temperature is the way we measure how hot or cold the air is. To find the temperature, we use a thermometer like this. The liquid in the glass tube is called alcohol. We read the numbers on the side of the thermometer to tell the temperature. We mark the temperature on the thermometer with a pencil. Now we fill a mug with cold water and place the thermometer into the mug for a few seconds. See where the top of the liquid is now? It has fallen to show a low temperature. Now we fill a mug with hot water and place the thermometer in for a few seconds. See where the top of the liquid is now? It has risen to show a high temperature. On a weather map, the weatherman shows where the high temperature is and where the low temperature is. The Earth is round in shape like a ball. Something that is shaped like a ball is called a sphere. Imagine that the Earth has a line drawn right around the middle of it. We call this line the equator. The equator divides the Earth into the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Hemisphere means half a sphere. North America is in the northern half of the world, so we say that it is in the northern hemisphere. Near the equator, there is little change in temperature. The weather is generally hot all year round. Places further away from the equator have great changes in temperature throughout the year. The equator runs right around the Earth. The whole world is divided into two halves, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. Places near the equator have generally hot weather all year round. Places further away from the equator have great changes in temperature throughout the year. We have a winter season in the Northern Hemisphere. The weather is cold and snowy during this season. We also have a very warm summer season. Do you know what causes the different seasons? The tilt of the Earth's axis is one of the main causes of the changes in seasons. In the summertime, at this point of the Earth's orbit, the tilt of the axis is towards the sun, and North America gets direct light from the sun. The rays from the sun hit directly on North America, giving us the most heat from the sun. In our wintertime, the Earth is at the other side of its orbit around the sun. 
The tilt of the Earth's axis is away from the Sun for North America. The Earth has revolved around so that the tilt of the Earth's axis faces away from the Sun. The rays of the Sun do not hit directly on North America because the tilt of the Earth's axis is away from the Sun for North America. The tilt of the Earth's axis is one of the main causes of the change of seasons.